Hello guys, I'm back again with tutorial number three and I'm um, DJ Sub. So today we'll be talking about this section over here where you control everything that's happening on your uh, work area. Since we can't talk about it until we load our, our video, so and uh, we'll be talking about shortcuts too so that you can make your work a little bit easier so here is our content and it's on the desktop and here is where we can see it if you want to preview it you just drag it over here and that will be a waste of time so let us jump to work because i'm pretty sure you're watching it because you want to learn it too so i won't waste your time and i won't waste my, my time either so you just drag your video over here and as for now, we'll just stretch this section. Uh, you just come and place your mouse in between, and you can uh, stretch it uh, the way you want it. So over here, this section over here, it's where you rename. You can rename this audio track. Let's say you have you have too many audio tracks, and you don't want to forget the audio track that you are working on, or the one that you'll come back to it. So you come over here in this space, right click on it and say rename and let us uh, rename it as Chris Brown. Song present on your keyboard you're through. And over here you ca it's the same thing, you can rename it. You can just come over here, right click on it, control C on your keyboard to copy, rename or the short shortcut is F2 and paste it and read, write Chris Brown audio o over here we can write video F2 on your keyboard video and then at the bottom audio since you are not seeing the uh, the word it means that uh, you, as you can see over here we have less less buttons compared to this one so but when you just place your mouse on it you will see it so over here you, when you click on this it's a, it's like you're minimizing the video video track le, 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 let us click and see, uh, and you see yeah the way i was telling you about if you want to work on the audio you just minimize the video video track to be small so that you can work on the on, on the audio so uh, uh, maximizing making it bigger but this is kind of pointless so no need to even bother clicking clicking there it's the same thing on audio and video so over here there's this bypass motion blur i've never used it used it because uh, since you're a, i'm a dj not a video editor i won't bother on focusing on motion blurs motion blurs is when you're working on graphics uh, maybe you are editing a mu music video or a short vid short film those uh, this part i leave it for the video editors and directors so over here you have the motion tracker motion tracker i will come back to it but uh, when we'll be making uh, uh, working on a video that we have already made its audio from sony acid so over here is where you add your effects these effects over here so you but over here when you click on this you will add an effect on whole the o, 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 on the uh, on the whole project but this one i usually use it because when I, I, I it works well when you have sliced some uh, 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 some part of the video so let me show you when you click over here this tab will open let's say we want to use let us see you choose any old TV you and then you click on add it appears at the top and press ok S so you see everything appears as an old TV which sucks so you just uh, control Z on your keyboard to undo it so what I usually love if I want to use the old TV I'll just slice over here and here and come uh, or you can come over here you see the same symbol event effects and here track 
track effects it has no big difference this track effects is for the whole project this event is for the current event where we have sliced it i hope uh, uh, i'm pretty sure you understand that so another thing is here the automation settings i've never used it so because i usually the the the, the default way when you open sony vegas is the way i usually use it because once you start tampering with these small changes small things you, you may end up tampering with the whole project and when you render out your video mix or anything that you're working on uh, it will you first thing you'll have wasted your time and already messed uh, mixed up yourself so here is the mute and here is the solo so let's say if you have a couple of videos what we can do we can just duplicate this part right click and duplicate it over here so if i want to like let let me push yeah push this video over here so let's let's say i want to see the lower video over here as you can see let me mute it we can see the upper video when i mute you can see the lower video so let's say i want to see the lower video without muting the upper i just click on solo and i'll be, be i'll be seeing the uh, the lower video only so that's the work for solo so you just delete it we don't need it uh, another thing this is the like the uh, the, the opacity of the video if you re reduce it you'll see the video re becoming a little bit dull yeah you see it's becoming a little bit dull it's when it's zero it's totally black when it's 100 it's totally back to normal so over here uh, uh, compositing mode i believe it's the like the blending the blending modes yeah over here i usually call it the blending mode because i usually use like after effects and they and photoshop they are called the blending modes so over here you just come i will talk about this l later on so over here the, this arrow up arrow down i usually don't know the use of it because i usually don't use it so on the audio uh, audio uh, audio side uh, here is like where we usually control the volume so like right now it's 0, 0.0 decibels and here it's to pan pan uh, pan mean like Oh, it's on the center let's say let, let me use this center to make you understand the use of pan so when i play play this video you'll if you're using a earphone to uh, on both ears one ear the left and the right you'll hear the audio is distributed uh, evenly like 50 50 Le, let me uh, le, let me play the video and if you're using a earphone or headphone you'll he, uh, listen to You'll hear the 50-50 that I'm talking about. Yeah, you can see, you can hear it's on both earphones and it's balanced. So when I pan left, it will on your, you'll hear it only on your left earphones. And vice versa, if I take it to the right, you'll just hear your right earphones. And I probably should just like that. So when you double click on it, it become it comes to the center by itself. Very accurate. Yeah. So something like this record, uh, you won't focus on it because it usually it's for like when you're uh, you're 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 running an let us use an an event. You want to record the sound of the uh, the people talking from your camera to the mixer to Sony Vegas. You usually click you, you you click here and do some couple of settings, just like that. So we with those, I believe I haven't left anything out. Oh, sorry, I was to talk about the shortcut. When you press S, is for slice. Or you can just right click and uh, see uh, see the delete button is to delete cut and copy the normal to trim a start and trim and use alt and the square cornered uh, brackets parentheses I can say to slice to reverse reverse 
in Sony Vegas acid it's you but in Sony Vegas you do it manually switches uh, oh and uh, let me show you what they mean by the loop so when you come over here uh, over here and double click you see it has already created a loop it, it will be looping the whole video but let's say we want to loop like this region to this region so you'll just come place your mouse over here uh, place this cursor over here come at the end make sure you see loop region and drag it and it will snap to where you want it as and say over over here come drag it it will snap now right click and say insert loop back so over here will be loop uh, will be will be looped it will be keep on going forward and coming back so let me zoom in and drag it closer so that you can see what i'm talking about <laughs> just like that if you want to remove the loop you right click and remove the loop or control shift l q that's a waste of time you just right click yeah so another thing let's say as you can see i can move the <coughs> the video and the audio together so when you'll be working on sony uh, sony acid mixes you'll have to know this trick like you see when i move the video and the audio moving together so I, let's say i want to move only the audio i will just press u on my keyboard which means ungroup i press u on my i've already pressed it so when i move i'll move only move the audio you see the audio has already moved and let let me undo it by control z now we are back to normal oh so, sorry yeah i've already uh, pressed control uh, undo control z twice to remove the undo because i already moved like the video left and right so you see and uh, i'll press you again on the video i've, I've ungrouped the, the video from its audio so i'll just move the the video yeah, and we're back so let's say you did <coughs> the trick for like coming back to it's normal it's not undoing it let uh, you you see i've ungrouped it so if you want to group it without undoing it you just highlight the video and hold and press control your keyboard and then press g to group it now on your keyboard now they are grouped so when you move they're moving together yeah easy as that so with practice it's something that you the, you wouldn't even be thinking about you'll, ju you'll just be doing it yeah i believe you're good so another thing like you can see over here my movie my video is moving without any snaps so when you come to the option and uh, click on snap to grid when you <coughs> it will be snapping on a grid you see it snapping to every grid you see just like in sony acid when you're making uh, mixes uh, your audio will snap just like that so i usually don't like that i usually and and uh, and uh, and uh, and tick and check i mean and check the snap to grid so but the rest of everything like you can use these settings that i'm using the rest of the ev everything is the way i want it when you quarantize to frame uh, this is how it will do let me yeah still snapping but quarantize to frame i uh, i can say I, ca I haven't seen it, its effect so we'll just uncheck it and leave it the way it was before so, so another thing when you press m on your keyboard let's say you want to do you did something over here you just press m on your keyboard to mark it and you can rename it let's say i can say uh, make an outro outro here and press enter on your keyboard L uh, so when i'm uh, going through my project let's say i missed something this name will guide me uh, that i'm supposed to make an outro over here so you can just slice it 
and delete the rest and uh, uh, come at the corner you'll see a fade out offset a curve and curve it and, and click on it and drag it to the left just like in Sony acid if you are uh, you, 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 <clears throat> your, your your purpose to learn this tutorial is for Sony Acid. Uh, yeah, and then you mute it, and then you, oh, the same thing on the audio, it will fade out. So when you play, this is how it shortcuts and uh, everything that we have talked about I believe you are ready for the next tutorial so I have been sub for any questions on oh, another thing maybe uh, I may I may not be explaining everything uh, the way to make you understand it in and out you can just jump into YouTube there are millions of tutorials you can just check check them out and I believe from that you learn because I'm tell uh, the tutorial that I'm making is from YouTube too. I learn from YouTube still, and uh, that's why I'm giving back to the people who are less fortunate to teach themselves. So thanks, and keep on growing. Share the knowledge once you're good too. Thank you.